Get ready for a night out under the stars. It is the return of the Thomas Edison Black Mariah Film Festival to Southwest Florida for, I believe, the seventh season. And curator Mike Cosden with the Edison Ford Winter Estates is here to tell everybody how they can enjoy a night outside watching uh, the silver screen. Good morning. Good morning. How Great to have you on. Thank you for having me. So kind of brief us on the Edison Ford Winter Estates for anybody who maybe is just arriving to the area and hasn't been out there uh, before. It's a, it's a pretty unique property. It is, yeah. It's over 20 acres of the Winter Estates and Gardens. Is it 20 acres? It, yeah, it's actually 21 huge. acres. It's huge. Wow. So the Winter Estates of Thomas Edison, of course, master inventor, yeah. uh, and Henry Ford, automobile industrialist. Mm -hmm. Um, and they've got their estates as well as huge experiences of gardens and also Thomas Edison's Botanical Lab. Mm -hmm. You guys do a lot out there. I know you can become a member and take part in a lot of the events. What's the membership fee? Um, you'll have to go on our website and check for okay. uh, our current information on that, but the membership is a fantastic deal um, because you get discounts not only at our own site, but at reciprocating sites all over the country. And so let's talk about a night out under the stars. I'm pretty excited about this. You know, we're actually uh, getting into the cooler months here, Absolutely. so it's going to be very enjoy enjoyable. Tell us about uh, this event, how people can enjoy a night out. Sure. The Black Mariah Film Festival is uh, internationally recognized. It's actually in its 33rd year, believe it wow. or not. Wow. Yeah. And it's it ties in perfectly with our state because the Black Mariah Film Festival is actually named after the first film studio, uh, Thomas Edison's Black Mariah. Wow. Um, so it's a great film festival. It's uh, something that uh, anyone can enjoy, but it's geared towards new uh, sort of experimental independent films. Okay. Lots of short films. So what can people expect? Uh, I guess, is this happening at the estates, or where is this actually is. happening at? It's right out on the lawn of the Ford Estate. So you're Riverside, you're under the stars, as you said. It starts right at uh, 7.30, so right at sunset. Mm -hmm. There's also beverages, barbecue. It's really a great night out. How cool. I mean, it really is a beautiful property. Certainly, if you haven't, there's a picture of it right there. But if you haven't been, and look at the screen. It's huge. That's right. Should you pack a chair? Do you have seating for everybody? Is it kind of like bring a blanket type of thing? Yeah, you can do either. Um, there is seating, but we do recommend people, uh, they can bring a blanket or lawn chairs if they like as well, yeah. Okay, and this is happening for on two different days, right? That's right. The first day, the 24th at 7.30, it's okay. taking place at the Estates. And then the following night at Florida Southwestern College. Okay. So again, if you are a member, uh, mm -hmm. Edison Ford members get it for ten dollars, right? That's right. Perfect. And then you have another event coming up. You guys are always so busy. Always have yeah. something else going on. This is the annual Clothesline Quilt Show uh, happening on October twenty fifth. Uh, tell us about this event as well, Mike. Sure. That's another great event that we've been doing for years. It features the Southwest Florida Quilters Guild. Um, they're going to bring antique quilts, so you can see sort of the history and evolution of quilts. Mm -hmm. You can also see modern quilts, quilting accessories, um, talk to quilters and things like that. And it's a great event. It's only $5 uh, for non-members, and it's from 10 to 2. And I understand you can actually buy stuff there, too, as well. You, you can. can go home with something if you like it Absolutely, as well. yeah. And there's also antique cars. I don't want to forget to mention that. Well, what kind of cars are we going to be seeing? That's pretty neat, too. I'm sure we'll be seeing quite a few antique Fords. Yeah. Um, we've had in the past Model Ts and other Model As and things like that. Also rebuilt cars, so really a great event for, mm -hmm. for almost anyone. Yeah. There seems to be, I mean, we do lots of car shows and stuff. I've noticed a huge, I don't know, in car and enthusiasts or collectors here in Southwest Florida. Would Absolutely. you say that, uh, you know, there is a big appeal when it comes to that, wouldn't you say? I think we're sort of a hotbed for antique cars here in Southwest Florida. Yeah, definitely. Very good. Okay, so again, uh, if you haven't been out to the Edison Ford Winter State, certainly check them out. You do not want to miss this night under the stars. I think the connection to it is really cool. I mean, Edison, it was the first film studio, again, in its 33rd year happening. What do you think That's has right. kept it going this long? I think people are really interested in seeing uh, innovative, experimental new films, um, especially here in Southwest Florida. There may not be that many opportunities mm -hmm. to get to do that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be showing a set of films our evening, and then if you're really interested, you can see an entirely different set of films with very little overlap the next night at Florida Southwestern College. So, very, very yeah. cool. So again, don't forget the dates. We're talking about uh, October 24th and October 25th. Uh, being a member, there's such huge, per huge, huge perks with that, so I certainly encourage you to do that as well. And then again, the the quilt line, uh, the annual clothesline quilt show as well. So certainly check that out too. A lot of great events and uh, great things always going on at the estate. We're so, always busy. So get That's out right. there and check it out and, and say hi to Mike. Thank you so much, Mike. Great Thank having you. you on the show. All right, and coming up next, you've reached critical mess status and there's no room for another single thing. Up next, meet the maid with the muscle that's ready to clear your clutter and tackle your to-do list.